Hello everybody, just coming at you with an update video. If you would like some vis uh, visual engagement, there is lovely Leviathan Unreal kill for you. Watch me suck a gunbreaker, it's great and it's fantastic. No audio though, I had to cut that part out. So, obviously my upload schedule has been complete and utter garbage and I do apologize. Some of this has to do with the most recent string of episodes are were recorded when I was very passionately angry about certain things and a lot of it just had just ended up cringy way too long-winded and I've since mostly somewhat changed my mind on a few things um, well at least softened my view on a couple of things I complained about so I've been trying to cut those aspects out without you know like wrecking commentary continuity and everything um since everything was recorded ages ago stormblood isn't entirely was recorded before shadowbringers even came out all right this has been sitting on my hard drives for ages and then i had the problem of because i have way too much data i actually ran out of hard drive space at the end of another external drive and obviously since i want all the all the 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 basic raw footage like backed up onto a single drive and not two like i've had to transfer files over slowly bit by bit these the raw footage of these takes up a lot of data guys um so i've been i've been trying to slowly uh whittle away at that um but a lot of my main my main reason for falling off the rails so much and again i kind of apologize is a bit of lack of motivation and it's coming from several different directions uh one is I barely make any money off these videos. Now, I'm not in any, any financial trouble or anything like that, and I never set out to make money, well, barely, like, get rich off these videos or anything like that. But when you, you know, can do something in your spare time and make some extra throwaway income off of it, um, it certainly does add to, you know, motivation to, hey, like, I can make a little bit more money this week, you know, like, let's get this done so, you know, I can buy myself some extra coffees and plushies and stuff like that. Um, I have a Patreon, and I've had it for a very, very, very long time, um, but I don't really advertise it because mostly it's just there, just, just in case somebody feels inclined to throw me a few bucks here or there. You don't have to. Again, I'm not in any financial trouble or anything like that. It, it mainly only exists because if someone, you know, just is in the mood for it. I know there's, um, with the situation that's been going on the past year and a half, people, other people are in much more financial trouble than I am. There's much more popular and better quality content creators out there. So, uh, like, I'm not really in need of support or anything like that, but I would be remiss if I, you know, said a couple extra bucks making off these videos one way or the other, you know, couldn't, you know, help or anything. Um, but another big problem is lack of engagement. And I know doing a let's play of a story mode of an MMO is not everyone's cup of tea, and I totally, completely understand that. Um, and obviously, I'm not exactly, you know, making myself a niche market over here or anything, but, uh, this game and its story and its characters is something I'm very passionate about, um, to the point where it almost obsessively takes up most of my free time. Um, it's not quite reached the unhealthy stage yet, but, <laughs> but it, it, it's pretty close to that. So, like, I'm always looking for, pe you know, people. I only have a very, very small subset of friends whom, which I talk about a lot, um, a lot of these, these things with. And obviously they have other people, <laughs> um, that they, that they talk to as well. So obviously I can't monopolize their time. Um, so by not, even though I'm kind of, subtly reaching out with this channel and just not getting much back it's like it's like okay well who am i who am i uploading these videos for like i've long since recorded them uploading them at this point is is almost just for for me and because it's there and because i said i would do it rather than to make other people happy which is what i would ultimately want to do um and again, I'm not trying to like pressure anybody to like suffer through it. If it's not your thing, it, it, it's not your thing. But again, I would re re would be remiss if you know I didn't mention that is a truthful uh, and honest reason. Uh, and I have actually given thought to do I want to do Shadowbringers because obviously engagement is a big problem, but also because despite the acclaim that Shadowbringers in general has gotten. 
uh, main scenario wise, um, up until very, very recent time with the recent patches going into Endwalker, um, I've actually been slightly, I don't want to, disappointed is a little bit too strong a word, but I'm more neutral on it. Um, because I think for everything that did they did was that was really 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 good and don't get me wrong There was a lot of things in there that were really good um, They did something that was really 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 bad and stupid that I hated and it kind of for me Has made it the weakest expansion uh, and that includes a Ron Reborn. Um, it's not by a lot But I mean out of out of out of four somebody's got to be the low rung on the ladder and for me that is that is shadow bringers so as much as I would like to uh, give a kind of a critique of Shadowbringers and kind of bring, you know, like a different view of opinion on it, which is, again, not, I don't want to say it's not the greatest, but it's not the, the glowing praise that everyone online gives it. But um, I am afraid of coming off a bit too, too angry and hating of it and be having people be like, well, why are you still playing it if you didn't like it so, you know, didn't like it all that much and all that crap and more. It's just, there are a lot of parts that I think are problematic that I think are worth discussing. I mean, there's, there's equally good parts that are also worth discussing, um, as well, but I'm not sure both my style of nitpickiness and what I want to say is going to be entertaining or really of value to people. So I've been kind of on the fence about that. I actually started leveling uh, my my alt's characters to like level 70 plus to in, in preparation for it. But I kind of stopped because it's like, do I really actually want to do this? Because I went into I went into 5.0 not happy at all. Um since 5.4 and 5.0, or the first part of 5.5, I have become a bit more positive to it, thank goodness. But going into Endwalker right now, as of right now, since uh, the actual second uh, online fan festival has not happened yet, um, I'm kind of neutral about it. Um, I'm somewhat excited and for and positive for what we're going to see in the next couple days when that comes out, but... At the same time, I really worry they're going to pull the same crap they pulled at the, at the end of Stormblood going into Shadowbringers and disappoint me. And I really don't want that to happen. So, I'm, I'm, again, I'm on the fence about doing anything uh, Shadowbringers related. Which would lead me to, once I actually finish e actually editing Stormblood, what do I do then? And the answer is, I honestly don't know. Um, I don't want to go as far as to say, LOL, I'm going to retire from this altogether because... As, as much as, you know, like boredom and fatigue and lack of motivation has set in, I don't want to exactly put this entirely down and like, you know, close the chapter on my life or anything like that. Like, I, I still kind of want to leave it open. I have given thought about doing some video style essays about certain plot and character aspects, and I have written a few things, but they never ever get published because... Well, I'm not really a good writer, and I'm kind of awful at segueing from point to point. So it's more, uh, they ended up being long-form bullet lists than an actual essay. Um, I'm still interested in the idea, um, obviously, if... Not, not that I'm like gonna say like I'm, I'm looking for someone to hire with help me writing or anything like that. But, but I mean, if anyone is ever interested in some of the the things I've written, or at least uh, some of the things I've saved, I've written, or, or or some portions of it, like I'm I'm happy to to share and and you know get people's opinions on something you know I they feel I might have misread or I want to add the you know their own interpretations of something like I again I would so love to share this shit if a lot more people were engaged and unfortunately um I don't really have much of that um I actually hold a lot of really awkward views about the game as a whole, so I don't really click with a lot of the fandom. So that's why I have like so few friends to to discuss things with. Um, so yeah, so again, I'm not sure. Like I, I have thought, like you know, do I do want to do some more in television games? I would have to like reset up the layout, and I I've always been wanting to like have like a tracker for um, like what keys I'm pressing on the overlay. Um, Obviously, I would have to learn, you know, some new skills in order to do that. But I would, I would, I've, I've been kind of thinking about doing that. 
Um, do I want to... Uh, I thought about potentially streaming some games and uploading them to YouTube. I might actually do that with Final Fantasy VI one day. Is just go back and, and, and stream it over a period of a couple days and then just upload that to, to YouTube or something. I have given thought... Um, to a couple of things, but most of the things are, are just on the drawing board. Like, I have, like, Final Fantasy XII for Switch that I've never actually turned on. Like, maybe I could stream that one day and just upload it to YouTube. Um, I honestly don't know, because some of these things, like, I have to make a plan and, you know, like, set aside time for it and, like, know in advance, like, what I want to do and have long-term plans and goals yet, and nothing has gone past, basically, the drawing board. But, uh, again, my apologies for my upload schedule, um... Let me know what you think about anything I've said or whatever. I'm, I'm always looking for, for new input, even if I don't take in anybody's advice directly, you know. Uh, I'm always willing to, to hear people out, so uh, hopefully 2021 has been going okay for you. Uh, I will get back to uploading uh, the next couple episodes soon. I'm actually going on vacation uh, from work for several days shortly, so that will give me a bit of ample time to actually do that. And thank you for watching my glorious kill and my Faux Hollows upload here, and hope you have a good day.